Hello everyone, it is Sammy the Gaming Dragon. Today we are going to go over the chemistry station. So let's get right to it. Why do you need it? It allows you to make the gunpowder for ammo, paint if you want to do any kind of painting, uh, such as paint red and white like I did for our house there. It allows you to also make gas uh, if you have a lot of vehicles that are gas guzzlers. Importantly, it also allows you to make all of your medications. Now, what skills do you need to learn for it? So you will actually need the intellect skill. This actually requires physician and it requires intellect level three to open. So let me do that. And then it will be the first one here. And then if you want, uh, you can go to intellect level six to be able to craft 20 times faster. And then if you want to specialize in intellect, then the level four will let you craft 40 times faster. To craft a chemistry station, you are going to need one beaker, 100 forged iron, three cooking pots, 30 short iron pipes, and five bottles of acid, which I have in my inventory here. The beaker you can find in loot. It is a fairly rare drop, but once you get plenty of them, you can sell them to traders for a pretty decent price. Forged iron you can make in the forge or find in loot. Cooking pots you can find in kitchens and around the world. You can also make them in the forge. Short iron pipes you can also find in loot or you can make them in the forge. And acid you can find in loot. These are more of a rare drop, although they are a little bit more common as you get further along. So as you go up in levels, you'll actually find more of them versus if you're trying to do this at, say, very beginning of the game. And then once you have everything, you would just go ahead and craft it. And you can craft it in the workbench. It does take 17 minutes to be crafted as a base time unless you have your workbench crafting speed boosted. Now, with the chemistry station you will need fuel and it does need a constant supply of fuel in order to run as with everything that requires fuel it will output heat which with enough heat that will attract screamers that's it for the basics of the chemistry station if you like this video i would appreciate it if you scratch that like button for me if you want some more of the seven days to die vanillic basics they're over here in this playlist to my left and as always, I'll see you in game.